us to the notion that gravity is created by matter. But it turns out that in Einstein's theory, light can create gravity. And that is what my work is based on. In other words, if gravity can affect time and light can create gravity, then light can affect time. Mallet has built a model to demonstrate his concept that a circulating laser beam can create a tunnel of light that twists space and time. It has four intersecting laser beams. The region within that column of light would represent the region in which space is being twisted. And eventually, time would also get twisted by this column of light. And this would allow us to travel back into the past. The first time traveler will have to be something much smaller than a human being, a subatomic particle like a neutron. What we're trying to do is not human beings, but to try to send subatomic particles and information to that. And that is a huge leap in itself, because imagine if we can send information back into the past that could tell us about future disasters and be able to avert those disasters. We can understand how circulating light beam can twist space and time by a simple analogy with a cup of coffee. If we think of the coffee in the cup as being like empty space and we think of the spoon as being like a circulating light beam, then you can see what happens to the coffee as I stir it. The coffee swirls around. Well, that's what the circulating light beam is doing to empty space. And we can see the effect of this in the case of the coffee by putting in a coffee bean. As I swirl it around, the coffee bean gets swirled around. In the case of the laser, as the beam is circulating, we put a subatomic particle called a neutron in. And as we stir the space around, the neutron will get swirled around, just like the coffee bean. Now, remember, in Einstein's theory, space and time are connected, so that swirling of space will cause the straight line of time to be swirled into a loop. And along that loop in time, we can go from the past to the present to the future, and then back into the past. In other words, if I turn the device on today, and I leave it on for 100 years, then someone 100 years from now could travel back 75 years, 50 years, 25 years, all the way back to the moment I turned the device on. But they can't travel earlier than that because the device didn't exist earlier than that. And it's the device that's creating the effect. So there's nothing for the time travel to materialize into. For now, Mallet is focused on getting his time machine built a project that will require a quarter of a million dollars in startup costs alone. Money is just one obstacle facing any physicist daring to dabble in time travel. <laughs> 